guys, it's Lexi. I love books and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing 25 bookish facts about me. I thought I would do 25 bookish facts about me even though it's kind of an old tag. It's like from a year ago I think um, because this is a new channel um, and you guys probably don't know like anything about me at all and I wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about my reading habits and history. So without further ado, let's get started. I prefer paperback books all around. I prefer the look of them. I prefer the feel of them. I prefer everything about them. Hardcover books actually really hurt my hands when I read them. I have really small hands and they're very sensitive and holding the book like really hurts this like wad of skin here between my index finger and my thumb. I don't know. It's just, it's painful. I am a very, very slow reader both in the fact that like I'll start reading a book and put it down and pick it up like months later but also like the words per minute that I read it takes me usually a minute and a half to two minutes to just read a page of a book. I am a very very slow reader. All throughout elementary and middle school my reading habits were like super weird which you'll find out more about in the other facts. I used to read the last either the last line the last paragraph or like the full last page of a book before even starting it because I just I don't know really I I like I literally couldn't start a book without doing that I don't know I just I guess wanted to know what happened at the end or like I don't know I literally couldn't read a book without reading the last like line paragraph of, or page of it I still love dystopian novels in elementary school we had a SSR kind of time after recess every day and it stands for silent sustained reading um, and my teachers used to have to force me to stop reading because I just couldn't stop. In middle school I actually joined our school's book club. It was fun for me and my friends who just gathered there every month and just talked about everything, talked about the latest sleepover, plans for next weekend. The school librarian and the only boy in the book club would just sit there and just listen to us for an hour. Just me and my friends screaming. Yeah, I don't know how they did it. I don't know why that guy still came every month, but he did. I'm a little ashamed to admit this. I have never finished Harry Potter. I have all the books. These first five are secondhand. I bought the last two uh, over the summer uh, and I've just finished the fourth book. I love Harry Potter so 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 much now, but in second grade when I tried to get into it, I got through the first two chapters of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and I put it down because I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was bored. The second grade me just didn't care. I'm obsessed with the library and I go all the time and I use overdrive and everything. I love the library, I love the feel of the library, I love the atmosphere, but every single time I go I just feel so judged walking into the teen YA section and I just like look around and there are like adults all around like studying and like I don't know writing business reports or something and it's just I feel like they're all watching me like oh you're here for the YA. I feel really judged every time I go to the library, but I love it, so I'm not gonna stop. As I mentioned in my last video, um, my mom and I had this tradition when I was younger to read a couple chapters of a series book every night. We read most of the Magic Treehouse books, which I loved, and we read all of the series of unfortunate events together, and come to think of it, that's probably why I like reading so much now because like my earliest memories of it were just so fun. And fun fact, my mom and I actually watched a series of unfortunate events together on Netflix and we loved it so much but it was just really funny because my mom was like, oh yeah, I get it, like this all happened in the book, great, I love it. I was just sitting there like, whoa, did that happen? Like I couldn't remember it because I was so young when I first read it and I was just watching it like, whoa, I kind of remember that. I totally forgot about the miserable mill and I was like, what? Unlike most people, I feel like I actually really, really, really enjoy loaning out my books. I just feel like, I don't know, it sounds really weird. I feel like a library or like I feel like the book god or something, you know, like here my children take my books. And I also like trust 
my sister and like my friends they're the people that I would lend my books out to I trust all of them so yeah I, don't know. I just really like lending out books it makes me feel really good about myself I've never gone to a midnight release uh, and I'm really sad that I missed out on those because they don't do them anymore um, and I just wish that I had been a much more like avid like excited reader before oh my god I'm gonna break everything I hate with a passion all the stupid little magnetic bookmarks that are sold now. I have not seen a regular bookmark since my like sixth grade book fair. Is it too much to ask to just like go to like Barnes and Noble and have a regular bookmark without a tassel, without the magnetic fancy stuff? I'm sorry, I'm getting really heated, but I really hate the magnetic bookmarks. And along with that, I actually have one one normal bookmark and it's really ugly it says horse around with a good book with a picture of a horse on it that's like so ugly but I only use this bookmark for when I'm reading the Harry Potter series uh, I don't really know why but like it's really it's ripped and like old and crinkled this is the only bookmark only normal good bookmark I have left so I'm gonna save it okay I use post-its as bookmarks for everything else that I read because it's really easy. I can easily stop in the middle of a page. I will buy a book only based on how it feels if it feels really, really good. You guys know I'm talking about those perfect, floppy, soft books. Oh my god. I loaned the first two books out to my sister, but that's the reason I bought the Shadow Falls series Um, because it's like... It's so soft and the pages are so soft and it's like so floppily, floppily. It's so floppy and perfect. Like, oh my god, look at that. Oh, oh my god. It's like porn for bibliophiles. It's horrible and I only bought them based on how they feel, so um, don't do that. I started post-it noting every time it pissed me off and like, look at that. Do you see that? And what I don't understand is there are so many good reviews on the internet about these. I'm sorry, that just got really heated. I used to dog ear pages back in elementary and middle school, and the worst thing was, was that I pretty much only read in between, like, classes. I would only read at small intervals at a time, so literally, like, every other page is dog-eared. I literally, on this page, <laughs> I literally dog-eared not once, not twice, but three times. I hate all romances, that's why I never read romance novels. Not never, but usually I will, like, I'll never reach for one. If I hear about one on booktube with good reviews, maybe I'll check it out, but I hate romances because they're all always done so badly. They're all unhealthy, they're stupid, they're immature, and I just, I can't do it. It's boring or cringy to read about, and I just don't like it. I hate romance. In eighth grade, I was uh, made fun of for reading porn. And the porn that I was reading was uh, a chapter where a girl woke up and a guy was in her bed and cuddling her. They had like woken up together and she like saw the sunlight coming in through the window and she was like, I love this, I love like waking up and cuddling with him. And uh, of course the immature 8th grade boys were all, ooh, you're reading porn. And they made like a huge deal out of it and I was so embarrassed that I never brought that book back to school again. I get like irrationally angry like I will shake when I hear people say that they hate reading or that it's a waste of time uh, because it's not so I always either buy or borrow books from the library that I like recognize from booktube or other reviews and stuff because I like knowing about books before I start them. I know a lot of people say they don't like that, but I really like that. I want to know what I'm getting into um, before I start reading it. But I know that I'm missing out on so many, so many good books because of it. When I'm reading alone, I am very, very vocal. I laugh and I like make fun of, I, I never really get mad at characters and never like yell at the book, but um, I will just like make fun of and criticize the writing or the characters or whatever. Like I will just be like so aggravated with how like the author portrays certain things and I'll just like 
out loud rant to myself about it. So as you probably just got, I love talking and ranting about books even uh, sometimes with people I don't really know that well, but I never, ever, ever, ever speak up in English classes ever. I never talk in them, which is not good because I'm an English major, so like all my classes are English classes, but I just get so scared. I have social anxiety disorders, so like speaking up in class. I just never speak up in English classes, but like I talk about books all the time. When I was younger, like in elementary school, um, my mom and my sister and I would always go to the bookmobile at least once a week, sometimes twice. Last but not least, fact 25 is that I cannot reread a book for the life of me. I hate rereading books. I think it's a complete waste of time. I just can't do it. I already know what happened. I already know like the words. I can finish sentences in my head as I'm going through. There's no point in doing so. To me, it's a waste of time. So that was my 25 bookish facts about me. I hope you guys liked it. This was actually surprisingly easy to come up with the facts for this video. I thought it was going to be super duper hard, but it just kept flowing out of me. I hope you know a little bit more about me and my reading style kind of thing. It was more about my childhood. I talked a lot about my childhood reading habits, which were weird, but I hope you learned something. And if you did and you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because I upload weekly. I'm going to stick to that. I'm yeah, I'll upload weekly. And here is my last video, which just so happens to be my first ever booktube video. So if you guys want to check that out, there it is, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!